Hello, I'm Anaí from Animar Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because I'm going to show you a haul uh, from a shop called, and uh, forgive my Danish because it's non-existent. Uh, it's called Sostrene uh, Grene. Sorry, because I don't know how to say it well. So this is a, a Danish retail chain and I have wanted to visit them for so long. Uh, I think since I live in the Netherlands, I haven't come across them and I was excited. Um, it's a shop I knew mainly via Instagram. And, you know, uh, first of all, I was surprised by the name. I think um, it it requires uh, guts when you start in a country and you expand to other, country, other countries and you keep the identity of a name, even knowing that is is not uh, exactly what you know the, the 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 English version or something that um, so first of all I I loved and I admire that because I think as as company it requires uh, bravery guts and and personality probably there are other commercial reasons but I love that first of all um, so I I love that and then I started reading first I, I started seeing the products and I, and I love them uh, this is not a sponsor, by the way, or in any in any way. Um, so I started looking at the products and I love them. And then I started reading this fictional uh, story behind of, of these sisters that are Anna and, and Clara, and that are more or less the late motif of, of the shop. And they're, they're kind of, <clears throat> sorry, kind of like ad adventures, I would say, if that's the, the, the correct uh, term. And according to... Uh, Mr. or or Madam Wikipedia, uh, that is inspired in the the out, the paternal aunts of the founder, the the woman, uh, that is the Hrene family. So uh, it seems like Sostrene Hrene means the Hrene sisters, and these aunts of of the founder were the ones that uh, inspired these two fictional characters. And I love that. I mean, I love the name. I love the products. I love uh, to learn about these two fictional characters that are uh, supposed to be these two that appear here in the logo and also their commitment with sustainability. sustainability. <laughs> and there it goes. So uh, they opened the shop in Tilburg. Tilburg is a city in the province of North Brabant in the Netherlands uh, where Vincent van Gogh learned to draw when he was 13. Uh, proud of that, extremely proud, you know, I'm a, a Vincent van Gogh fan. So here I am, and I, after this short, I hope, introduction, I'm going to show you. So I separated in food and non-food <laughs> related I items. Um, I haven't seen the whole shop because of, of, of sake of, of time, uh, but this is what I could put my, my hands on. Um, <clears throat> and I, I loved uh, most of the shop, or almost all, I I will just make uh, three three comments of things that are not not negative uh, at all. It's just my impression, but it may differ from people uh, to people. So uh, the something well, the prices were uh, ac according to my uh, view low. Uh, these ones, for instance, were less than a euro. I think if you buy something like this in a shop, you're not going to pay. Uh, in general, of course, there are exceptions. Less than a euro is a, a nice packaging. Uh, this one, of course, it's gone because. <laughs> sorry to tell you, yesterday watching a Christmas movie, we we live here the <laughs> the crime scene, some um, sweet pears, but they were delicious. I find them uh, sweet, but but not extremely sweet. Usually, I find them acid. Uh, they were sweet, but not this feeling of, you know, too much. So I think these are probably the best ones that I have uh, tried so far. Um, and this is for my daughter, Sweet Somethings. And there is a little mix of, of stuff. So she will be opening it probably soon. And this one is uh, going for the, this is Sprinkles. Oh, here it says established 1973. I hadn't said that. And these sprinkles we go uh, for our Christmas cookies that we decorate as a family tradition in the eve of Christmas, before, maybe after, around Christmas and New Year. Um, I bought curry because I'm crazy about curry. And here, this one says uh, Ost India curry. So let's give it a, a try, uh, a go. 
so yeah we'll see i will tell you later on because i cannot tell you now this one was also less than a euro as far as i can remember uh these two lollies uh thank you thank you baby te amo te amo uh, look there is a cute um dutch image here a windmill and some chocolates perfect perfect um okay these lollies were less than 10 cents uh, strawberry for me and apple for our daughter and the tea so well here comes the first uh, comment i have to uh, say um the teas the tea was in a um like dispensers like you could see the glass and you open and you serve yourself you pour yourself the tea well you serve yourself in fact i think uh in these bags and so um, the girl there i asked her and she told me that uh, in the ca casa they were going to put the the sticker um the 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 only remark is that i have been trying to think like what is the, what this one i added eh? um because this one doesn't hold uh, enough until I put it in a glass. Um, so I was hesitating what, what tea to decide to, to choose. And I chose this one and I brought it home. And I thought I decided chocolate um, uh, with cream and I don't know what flavors uh, with it, black tea. Uh, but when I came home, I tried it and I, I smelled it and I tried and I, I it tastes like cinnamon. And uh, our daughter said also, oh, it's cinnamon. And I was like, I thought it was chocolate. Well, the problem is that you put the coffee there, sorry, the tea in the bag and you have no way to know what tea you selected. Of course, you can say, oh, you, that's no big deal. You make a picture, you take a pen, uh, you write it there. But if you're going to give a present, for instance, um, the person, you know, you want to tell them what is the tea. Uh, and of course, you can tell the same. OK, you make a picture, you write it. But if you write, if you are buying three bags of different teas, for instance, um, you know, it was busy. It was later in the afternoon because yesterday was the day that they are open until 9 p.m. It was uh, busy, which is perfect and is normal. And I'm glad and I'm, I'm happy for them. Um, but, you know, you're with a, you are with your heavy winter coat, with your scarf, with your hat, <laughs> with your bag, with the basket, with the stuff. And you don't want to stop there and start writing in every tea that you buy. So I thought maybe to have a little label or, or a way to identify the different tea, uh, because now I, I really am not sure what tea is this. So even if I want to recommend it or to say, uh, I have no idea. Um, so that is maybe that will increase, uh, as we were talking with my husband, the, the price of the tea, if they have to label it, you know. But I think it will be uh, useful. Uh, maybe there is something that I'm missing uh, and there was any way to establish that, but I didn't see it. So that that is the, the first comment. But the tea, by the way, I tried it yesterday. It was it was good, but uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure what tea is, this is. Uh, OK, this is one of the things. Uh, so this was the this, the, um, the food, I would say. Then uh, the girl in the castle said, oh, you can put this in a bag. So I love the bag. Of course, I'm going to craft with it. And I bought this one because, uh, you know, I'm a fan of Canterbury Cottage uh, DIYs. And I follow her in YouTube and I, I think Jer uh, Sherry is a genius. And uh, I was always wondering when I see her using this kind of stuff, where would I be able to get one? So here I got one. So I'm happy about that. And I'm happy about the bag because, you know, for us crafters, a bag is um, has a whole world in itself. So I got these ones. I thought to have here around my desk. They are always useful to organize little pieces of, of scrap things. And uh, my daughter already asked me for one. So every, uh, next time I go, I will get some more. They were not expensive either. And I also bought this one for her elastic cord because she makes uh, these bracelets by the way this one she made for me so it's beautiful um the second here comes the second remark not everything had a price no big deal i also liked by the way talking about price that the prices are written handmade i think that's very cool um 
Or well, at least I think they are handmade. Maybe maybe it's a way of printing that makes the, it look handmade. But I, I could tell that I think it was handmade, and I love that. I'm a, a, a much much of a handmade, uh, handwritten uh, person. Uh, this one, for instance, didn't have the price. When you realize that the things are not being expensive, I didn't want also to call the girl that was rather busy. What is the price? I mean, I, I just put it in the basket because I assume it was not going to be extraordinarily expensive. Um, but for instance, these ones didn't have the, the price, so not, not everything had it. Uh, but yes, they opened last week, so I assume sometimes people are, are going a lot probably and can be rather overwhelming. So Sage Dawn, I will tell you later on because I haven't opened it. You know I'm a pinky person, so in my world this is rather pinky. And in that line also they had different pencils so I got this one because of course so we'll give it a go we'll see how it paints or draws or something this one just I was oh let me see if I'm yeah because I, I talk and talk that is the essence of the video but still so this one I'm so excited about because um, I thought it was a pen uh, sorry a pencil and I thought, why to put this around a pencil when all the, the other pencils were loose? Uh, so I thought, mm, there is something special about it. And the special thing is that it's a mechanic pencil. So I was like, wow, that's so clever. Um, so I have several, like even here, I think I have like, you know, <laughs> I, I like them. Uh, but this one, I think it, it will become one of my favorites because this is so cool isn't it i had never seen something like this and i think it's so cool so and then i bought this little ruler because um i have the one of craftelier remember i got it in the in the um in the fair that i went uh, but these ones i love to to for the lines to make the lines the other one i like for measuring but these hard ones i think they are very good to hold them well and to be able to to make lines so i thought this is cool um let me put this one back here in a second here and you know i'm 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 a super fan of these ones if you follow my videos you have seen look uh I put this Christmas one here. I'm I'm pretty. I I love these ones. I have them for everything. I organize my stuff with them. I create journals with them. You have seen them in other videos too. So when I saw this one here, I thought, oh, this is so cool, so cool. Uh, it's um, a journal uh, or a little notebook. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, this one was one thirty eight, and I thought it was so cutie. There was one that was more Christmassy. Uh, but I thought mm, this one will will be cool to to go with me for the rest of the year. So so cool. Um, we'll see when I open it. Um, I also got these cookie cutters. Um, I have seen them. I have no idea where, but I have seen these uh, gorgeous coffee cups or tea cups and the cookie uh, to the side. And I thought, oh my God, that is so cool. I would love to have that. I have no idea where, maybe in their advertisement, maybe somewhere else, I don't know. But I thought, how do they do that? <laughs> so cute, how do they do that? As if it would be so so difficult. Probably you just make the cookie and you make the hole or something, the, the shape. But then I saw these ones and I thought, hmm, this is my chance. So this is uh, also, the Christmas tree, very Christmas one, but then since we also make cookies and bake cookies along the year, uh, this one has three, it says, so I don't know if it is three of the same one, but I will open now. So these cookie cutters were 233 and this was 140. So it's more than doable if you allow me the, the term. Let me open it because I'm curious to see if these are all the same or... Oh no. So this one is the house and these two. Well, these are cool also, especially this one because the bigger I make the cookie, the more I eat. So <laughs> this one will be cool. So lovely. 
um, I love them. Okay, this one I will put later on in the little box because otherwise I lose much time. And I think this is the last item. So if you saw the other uh, haul video that I made in um, in that fair where I bought this German uh, watercolor paper, I haven't used it yet. Um, so they had here these cans with um, watercolor paper like postcards. So I, I thought it was not necessary to buy more when I had already the other one and I still didn't have the time to use it. But I saw this and this one takes it to another level and I thought that is also so cool. So uh, there was one with a uh, cursed man, like we say here, the um, uh, Papa Noel in Argentina or Santa Claus in, in America. But I, I um, although I'm not a fan uh, on, on Au contraire, Poirot would say, of oh, this little animal, I thought, okay, well, I will try to see it as cute. Um, I got this one instead of the Christmas. And the price is 460 And this is cool. So if you don't feel sure about designing it yourself or painting it, or you don't have time or whatever, or I don't know, um, I think it's so cool. You just take your markers, your pencils, your watercolor set, what, what wash, <laughs> tempera, we say, um, and you you can do it on the go. And and oh my god, this is so cool. I, I'm, I'm, I know I sound like a kid, but yes, okay. I think I'm a, a, I'm a kid that became an adult and kind of stayed a kid or something. So Christmas tree, you know, and uh, look. <laughs> Okay, here we need that cookie. <laughs> we do, right? Even without sprinkles, without anything, that cookie. I'm not much of a fan of putting the cookie inside the drink, but I think in this one, I would use it as a spoon. Sorry to tell you. Um, okay, so probably another thing that I will do when I go back is to buy other of these sets. Probably I can even paint it along the year and then send them on, on, on Christmas. But I think for friends, uh, for customers that luckily in my case often become friends, uh, you know, neighbors, people that you want to, to send a, a loving uh, message or greeting. Oh, this is this is lovely. I think probably this and the cookie thing thingy <laughs> and the pencil. OK, I don't know. I think everything is my favorite, but I'm I'm very excited. So I haven't been able to check. I say the whole store. I didn't uh, see the um, oops. Oh, this one went out. Oh, I stuck. Yeah. Um, I didn't, uh, I was not able to check. Oh my God, the coffee. I was not able to check the the drinks, uh, the things in the refrigerator there. I No, I, I couldn't see the nuts part. I saw some almonds uh, and, and many others, but I only saw the almonds when I was passing by. And I couldn't check the pens because my husband came and sometimes, you know, for an act of love, you don't want to say, wait 27 minutes that I finish checking all the pens here. So, okay, this is going to be a reason to come back. Um, the third comment I, I have to make is I, I loved the music. music. <laughs> I loved the music, uh, but I thought that it was a little bit too loud. But probably it has to do with me because I'm, um, I consider myself hypersensitive and, you know, um, it's crowded and you know when when a place is crowded for me at least the experience is different so maybe if I go at 10 I love the music at 10 a.m. I love the music uh, but I am checking the textures the smells because I didn't get this big nose for nothing you know it's not decoration <laughs> I smell absolutely everything which is a blessing and a curse but in my case I think it's a gift and I appreciate it but I smell everything I look at all the details i want to see the texture I'm, I'm comparing the prices i'm making the numbers in my head because i have a, a budget to spend i'm i'm excited about it all so all the senses are celebrating this this beautiful party of being around and checking uh and i love the music and i'm an extremely musical person there is a moment that i would like it a little bit less so the experience becomes exciting but not so overwhelmingly overwhelming uh, but probably it's just me. Probably other people uh, love it. I love it too. I would just like it a l one or two lines less, uh, but that is just a, 
uh, detail. So I hope you liked it. Um, 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 I was very excited uh, when they when I knew they were coming. I couldn't go there because I was preparing uh, my class for the next day, so I couldn't go to the opening. Um, but uh, yes, I'm I'm looking forward going back to go back. I never know how the verbs go after looking forward. So thank you very much for being there. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Claire, my Irish friend, for this gorgeous present I'm wearing today for the first time. My Christmas presents are already arriving and that is so cool. So have a beautiful day and thank you so much for being there. Bye bye.